Ultima Builder Custom Bike Show. I'm here with Al Lamb of Al Lamb's Dallas Honda. You've been in a family-owned business since 1977. Tell me what it takes to be in business for over 30 years. Well, there's good years, there's bad years, there's some we'd rather forget, and there's some that uh, have been great years, but uh, we've just been through a big slump, and now it's coming back, and we're here at the Chicago Show, and we're excited about this year. We're hoping that 2011 will be a better year. Now, I know you've raced both sport cars and motorcycles. Where'd you get your start? Started racing motorcycles as a flat tracker back uh, when I was in college, and that's how I got in the motorcycle business. I was racing bikes all through college, and uh, got out and went to work and didn't like what I was doing, and my dad came to me and said, what do you think about getting the motorcycle business? That's perfect. Now, is there a different mindset when you're racing motorcycles versus racing sports cars? Uh, motorcycles, typically when you race motorcycles, you're a little more aggressive than the car side. Uh, but it's it's the mindset's fairly similar. Now, uh, do you have a preference? At this stage, at my age, yeah, the cars. It's easier. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt so bad when you mess up. Now, you're also a uh, crew chief for uh, Leslie Porterfield, who set the Guinness Book of World Records for uh, a speed land record. Tell me about that experience. That's a whole different experience there. Leslie, uh, we went and saw the world's fastest Indian. Next thing I knew, she goes, let's go to Bonneville. And uh, so we started with no experience, and we've gone from the, the good, the bad, and the ugly to uh, now she's got uh, three world records, and we're working on uh, trying to get her to be the fastest person in the world on a motorcycle. Now, interesting enough, um, do you have any plans to try to set any speed records yourself? Oh yeah, I still want to get a, get in the two club. I want a red hat. You know, I'm competitive, so I want to do that. But I have to walk lightly because I, uh, you know, we don't want to be competing against each other. So I have to make sure that I'm uh, looking at different records and staying away from the same thing she's running on. You're a smart man, so uh, you'll be right at the 200. You'll be happy then. Uh, give me a give me a two hat, and I'll be happy. I'll uh, I'll go back to being in the background and just uh, you know keep the motorcycles running. That's awesome. Hey, tell me about the, uh, I believe, the RC51 engine you have back at your shop. I've got an RC51 engine, which is a 1,000cc V-twin Honda engine, and we're going to build a uh, kind of a radical chopper, low neck, uh, low head height, single side swing arm uh, bar chopper, for lack of a better description, with, uh, with a blower. We want something that's a little radical, run it on alcohol, just uh, something to kind of do something different, a conversation piece. That's awesome. Well, it leads me to my, really one of my final questions. What do you think of the custom bikes here at the Ultima Builder Custom Bike Show? Oh, the bikes here, that, that's really kind of built the fire back up for me to get back on my RC51 project. There's some unbelievable bikes here. I'll walk down the road and just, I was, I was shocked at how radical, how neat, how unusual some of the bikes were here. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, the, the little uh, with the with the transverse mounted uh, four cylinder. I thought it was an old Henderson when I walked by, but come to find out it's a, a Honda top end, I think a different bottom end, and it's uh, it was very neat. That's awesome. Now, if someone wanted to reach out to you, how do they do that? Uh, they can reach me at uh, DallasHonda.com or AllAmsDallasHonda.com or uh, you know, they go to my email, which is AllAm at DallasHonda.com. And for those that don't have a computer, how do they reach you by phone? Uh, we're in Dallas, Texas. You can reach us at 972-619-2000. Al, thanks so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Thank you.